Hey everyone, don't you hate it when you find an article that you really want to read and you start reading it but then all of a sudden a banner pops up and says you have to pay if you want to continue reading. You have to pay or log in or subscribe. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how we can typically work around that in your desktop browser, whether it's Firefox, Google Chrome, or Edge. So here I'm in Firefox and I happen to be on the New York Times' website and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page. Here's the article. You can see I can start scrolling it, but then right away this banner pops up saying, hey, if you wanna read the rest of the article, you have to pay um, and subscribe. And so an easy way to work around this is typically just hit the F12 key on your keyboard, and that's gonna open up the developer tools. So again, in this case, I'm in Firefox. Uh, so here, I wanna go over to the right and find the dot, 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 and you wanna go into the settings. Uh, you could also just hit the F1 key. Uh, but once I'm in the developer tool settings, you want to scroll down a little bit and find the disable JavaScript option. I'm going to go ahead and check that off and it automatically refreshes the page. And now I can go ahead and read the entire article without having to log in or pay or subscribe. Uh, so that's really awesome. You can do the same sort of thing in Google Chrome. Uh, so here now I'm in Chrome. Again, just hit the F12 key to open up the developer tools. Uh, again, you can either then just hit F1 or you can go look for the little gear and let's open it. And in Google Chrome, you need to scroll way, way, way down to the bottom to find the disabled JavaScript option. Let's check that off. And then right now you have to manually refresh the website. It doesn't do it for you like Firefox did. But I refresh it and here we go. Now I can read the entire article. And then the same thing in Edge. Let's open that up. Just use F12 to open up the developer tools. Again, you can go find the gear or you can just hit the F1 key. And then you want to scroll down, 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 find disable JavaScript, check that off, and refresh the page, and now you can read the entire article. Uh, so this is awesome. Uh, it's, it is a little bit of a pain though, so if it's a website that you come to frequently, like daily or weekly, you, you should still subscribe to them and pay for their content. Um, you know, their business, they do need to make money. But if it's just a website that, you know, you're never going to visit again, uh, it's just sort of a one-off thing, this is a great trick to be able to read the article. Um, one other thing I want to mention is that when we hit F12 to bring up the developer tools, uh, any changes that we make here, these only apply to the single tab that we're in. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL, we'll open up a new tab, navigate to the page again, and you'll see I'm going to get the paywall banner uh, because this is a brand new tab. So any changes that I make in the developer tools only apply to this one tab, and as soon as I close the tab, all of those changes are gone. Uh, so they don't stick around. There is a way you could go into your actual browser settings themselves and disable JavaScript, but you typically don't want to do that as most websites do rely on JavaScript in one way or another. So if you actually turn off JavaScript for all of Firefox or all of Chrome or Edge, um, probably like 95% of the websites that you visit, they're not gonna look correct or function correctly. Uh, so typically you don't wanna do that. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks.